During the January informal discussions in Athens, the ministers have expressed already their overall satisfaction with the provisions of the draft regulation concerning international transfers and with the territorial scope as already, uh, as already uh, said. And during the March Council, uh, the ministers have also confirmed their understanding that international transfers of personal data to third countries should take place on the basis of the structure and the key principles contained in this chapter, international transfers. Uh, I must also add that they have underscored the exceptional nature of the transmission of personal data to third countries or international organizations in case that they are based on the derogations. That means when such transfers are not based on findings of adequacy, appropriate safeguards, including binding corporate rules or contractual clauses. And the need to provide safeguards to ensure that fundamental rights and freedoms as regards the protection of personal data uh, as embedded in Article 8 of the chapter. In June Council, we have reached a so-called partial general approach. I have already spoken about this, supported by all member states, with the exception of United Kingdom. Although, I must say, the uh, minister, unfortunately, is not, uh, he's not here, that the UK has been supportive during our presidency and constructive. And uh, we had the impression that we, perhaps we could also <coughs> achieve a support from the part of UK also. But uh, I would like to, to underline that UK has been so constructive and in a way supportive also. And um, this, this adoption, as I already said, was seen as a significant progress. I skip my comments on what, is, uh, what will, were the conditions of this partial general approach just to uh, make a, an overview about the structure and the choices included in this chapter on international transfers. Adequacy decisions seems, seem to remain the rule, although many member states, including uh, UK or uh, primarily UK, I must say, uh, underline that the exceptions have become the rule of, uh, in, in this way, in this case. The draft regulation carries forward the approach of transfers with an adequate decision where the Commission may decide in the framework of comitology with the involvement of Member States and the European par Parliament to, which has to scrutinize the decision whether the level of protection ensured by the third country, including certain territories or specified sectors, this is also a novel, uh, <coughs> novelty uh, in the regulation by a third country, uh, or an international organization, this is also, all, also something new, is adequate. The compromise text provides that the European Data Protection Boards, Board shall give the Commission an opinion both for the assessment of the adequacy and for the assessment if a country or a specified sector in this country or an organiza uh, international organization no longer ensures an adequate level of protection. Further specifications have been made with respect to the elements to be taken into account when deciding on the level of adequacy including ex explicit reference to third countries' accession to Council of Europe Convention and to some uh, systems, as we, we said in the recital, like APEC. Uh, 